Hey guys, I just wanted to have a quick tutorial on how to put the Karanda dog bed together. I put a number of these together and I think I have some tips and tricks that might make it a little bit easier for you. So, not spending too much time on the unpackaging part, you're going to get um, two large bars, two short bars, four legs, and then your hardware should all be in this packaging. You're going to have four bottom brackets and four top caps that you're going to need. So the way that I like to do this is on a tabletop, not on the floor. Um, you're going to need a 7 16 wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and then there is a point where I actually like to use a little impact wrench toward the end, okay, or an impact drill. So uh, first things first, unpackage it, take my legs, put them off to the side, I'm not going to need them right now. Two short bars, two long ones, and the, the design of this bed is fantastic because the way they designed it, and your hard work, the way they've designed it is to make sure that there's no part of this bed that's exposed that the dogs can chew on. So there's a strip right here that you slide your material in. When I slide this in, I don't like to slide it all the way to the end. I leave an opening, so I have room to slide my other end caps in. Again, with that, I don't slide it all the way. I leave an opening. Another tip is, if you guys get this in the mail, which you're most likely going to, um, give yourself at least a day or so before you start putting it together um, because a lot of times if this material is cold I'm using the 40 ounce vinyl if it's cold it can be a little bit harder to work with so just let it sit inside and warm up a little bit so once I've got them all on I kind of just eye it line them up by eye now the great thing about these top caps is that they have two notches in them and these notches is where your bars are going to line up the other thing I should mention is I am doing this upside down. So when I put this together, there's a top and a bottom to this material. The bottom part you can actually see has a glued seam that you want facing up. I just find it easier to do this upside down and put it together and then flip it over when I'm done. Why? Because this is the first example. You take your cap, put it underneath, line it up. Okay. Actually, the first thing you want to do, sorry, is open up your hardware and assort that. Make sure you've got everything you need. So again, for me, I usually take two nuts, put them in each corner. Two bolts. Each corner gets two of everything. got lock washers, two lock washers in each corner. So again, you're just kind of spreading out your parts, making sure you've got everything. And they've got these three uh, stainless steel metal screws. Those are for your legs. And now I'm ready. Okay, so you're going to take your top cap, put your ground underneath on it, because again, the thing is upside down. You're going to take your long bolt, line it up in the hole, and I hold it in place with my finger. Okay, you can look down in there too this way and see where the hole is lining up. Take your other bolt. Okay, now I hold it with two fingers. I'm holding it with one hand and just kind of pressing it. Now I'll take my bottom leg cap, line it up, and just pinch it together. So that's the first corner. You want to start with a lock washer on each bolt, take your nut, and just really just hand tight. You don't want to use your ratchet at this point. Now here's the pro tip of the day. Don't, do not go here and then around and come back because by the time you get to that corner over there it's going to be really tight and really hard to put together. So I'll just spin it around, I want to go diagonal, go to the corner that's diagonally across. Same method, take your top cap, line it up, slide your bar into the notch, 
take your bolt, stick it through, hold it still. Holding it with two fingers, take your bottom cap, lay it on top, lock washer, lock washer nut. Now from here, I can just go to the right and do this leg over to my right. I don't have to go to any particular spot. Again, the nice thing about being on a table is you're not having to bend over and be on the floor and hurt your back. And I put, like I said, plenty of these together for my kennel building and I just this system seems to work really well after doing 25 of them. Lock washer, hand tight with the nut. Spin it around, and now the last one should not give you a hard time. And the reason I'm even putting this video together is just for this point alone. A lot of times my clients will buy these beds, and I'll hear horror stories about, oh, getting that last leg in was the, the ringer. It was really tough. And, and, and oddly enough, years ago when I first started putting these together, I learned real quick that that was the wrong way to do it because that last one is such a struggle. So now that I've got a start on all of these, now, I'll go back with my ratchet and my Phillips head screwdriver and just hand tighten them and just tighten them until it stops. You can come back and and whether or not you need to go you know diagonally across, I'm not really sure, but I do it anyway. I've never found it to be a problem if I haven't, but just out of habit I do. And just hand tighten to the point where it stops. I like that little, well, it's just a little flip of the ratchet just to have fun, you know. Make it fun. After you're doing a few of these. Okay, have fun with it. Now I won't flip it again because if I drop it, I'll look like an idiot. So I'll just stop while I'm ahead. Okay, now I did them all. So now I can actually branch it down to the point where it stops. I would not use the impact drill in this situation. Okay, just hand tighten it. The lock washers will do their job. I'm holding everything firm. Just snug it down with your ratchet. And you should be good to go. These beds are so durable, they're so light, they get tons of heavy traffic here at my kennels. They're easy to clean. In today's day and age, sanitation is everything. So we want to make sure we're using materials that we can clean off. And not hold on to the old corona. Okay, so now you're going to take your legs. There's a little hole right here. They come with a little plastic part that lines up in the hole. You're going to take your metal screw and you're just going to start it by hand. Okay? Take your other leg. No particular order here. Just hand tighten. The reason I'm going to use the impact drill for these is because this plastic, doing it by hand, is a brutal takes way too long, it's too much pressure on the wrist. So I like to use the impact here. And if you want, before you put the impact on it, if you want to take the screwdriver and just give it a couple of twists to start it, that's fine. But I'm telling you, if you do this all with a screwdriver, by the time you get to the third one, you're going to be beat. And when you use your impact, make sure that you you know, obviously listen to it. When it says stop, stop, okay? Don't overdo it. And keep good pressure against it so you don't strip out your screws. A regular drill.
drill is not going to do it. You're going to strip out your, your screws if you use a regular drill. So the beauty of the impact is it takes on that pressure. Okay? Voila, you're done. Never need another dog bed again, I almost guarantee it. Okay, so um, I don't know, like, subscribe, comments, whatever you guys want to do. I really don't care. Just quick tips on how to put it together. Hopefully you get yourself one. They're not cheap. This bed right here is a large. It's probably about 135 bucks. That includes shipping. But I'm telling you, if you use this on a residential level, not a commercial level, you will never have to replace this bed again. The great thing is that for some reason your dogs do tear up this material within the first 12 months of you buying it, Coranda will replace it for free the first time. The second time, you'll have to replace it. But this piece of material alone is just like 30 bucks. So you don't have to buy the rails again, you just take it apart, slide in your new piece of material, put it back together, and you're ready to go. So enjoy.